Okay, so when it comes to practical mathematics, and that is math that everybody should know just to get along in the quote-unquote real world, nothing is probably more important than understanding this concept of the median, okay? And the question here is, we want to find the median given these numbers, so 2, 4, 6, and 8. Uh, this is not a difficult question, but this is a highly confused concept in basic practical mathematics. And again, this is important for everyone to understand because I can tell you right now, if you just listen to the news or if you uh, read a newspaper or you just read anything about the quote unquote real world, you're going to see this word median all the time. Okay. And if you don't really understand it, you're not going to really kind of uh, understand what's going on around you. All right, so if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Feel free to use a calculator. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm going to fully explain uh, what the median is. Uh, this is actually very easy to calculate. And again, it's very important for everyone to understand. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades, and it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Given uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, these numbers, what is the median? Well, if you did this right, the answer is 5. Okay, so if you got this right, that's very good. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you a nice happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of basic statistics. Okay, that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Uh, basic statistics, but don't let this scare you. Okay, but, oh my goodness, we're going to be talking about statistics. Well, again, I'm going to emphasize the word basic statistics, but uh, there is a kind of another fancy way to uh, describe what I'm going to be talking about, and that's something called the measures of central tendency. Okay, now that sounds pretty scary, but this is not that difficult. But uh, if you didn't get this right, well, I'm glad that you made this error with me because it's important that you understand this question. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this word median is everywhere, as I kind of, uh, you know, indicated. You know, when you listen to the news or you read, you know, especially with things about, about economic reports, uh, like the median home sale in a certain area or the median uh, price of this or, or, or whatever the case is. Uh, these are only some examples, but this word is used everywhere. And oftentimes what happens is people... Um, uh, you know, they'll hear the word median and they think in their head uh, about a different math topic. They think of a different math concept, which is wrong. So what's happening is they're actually um, uh, not correctly understanding what, you know, a, uh, let's say a news uh, report might be, you know, telling them or some sort of, you know, a piece of information. Okay. In other words, people are um, actually interpreting information incorrectly because they don't understand this basic word. Now, uh, what we're going to talk about, again, is something called the measures, and this is just going to be a quick le lesson, measures of central tendency. Now, let me just tell you real quick, uh, here is my lovely classroom. Here I am uh, uh, teaching at the chalkboard, right, blah, 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 and I have all these students in my lovely class. Let's call this my Algebra 1 class, and here they are. So now what we want to do is get a sense of how well my class might have done at the end of the year, right? So well, some of these students, unfortunately, maybe one, maybe got an F, maybe two, got a D. Maybe there was a whole bunch of, you know, maybe four A's, and then we had a lot of C's and B's, right? So what we want to do is measure all these this kind of uh, activity here, okay, to get a sense of the central kind of tendency of what's going on. So in other words, if I was to describe you know, or the principal or someone came to my class and said, hey, how well is this class going? Well, there's different kind of ways I can describe the, uh, you know, level of uh, success with this class, right? I could say, well, the average, uh, you know, test grade here is this, you know, um, you know, there's different kind of ways statistically that we can um, 
and describe what's going on, right? So this is what we're talking about, the measures of central tendency. There's different measures in it. And this is important because if you understand the average, let me kind of just uh, give you another quick example to make my case here. Let's say I have um, a few homes here. I'm just kind of making a quick example up and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's say this house is $50,000. This house right here is $60,000. This little house right here, let's say, is also $60,000. And then this big house right over here is $900,000, okay? Now, if I, uh, if someone says, oh yeah, I live on this particular street, and let's say these are the homes that are on this street, and the average price of these homes on the street would be, you know, whatever it's gonna be, right? So the average is what? Well, we gotta add these up and then divide by four but it's certainly gonna be much more than these numbers. I'm making this uh, problem up in my brain right now. So, you know, this is gonna be, you know, probably like more than $250,000 average price for a house, right? Because if we, even if we had a million uh, divided by four, that's 250, right? So this is gonna be over a million. So let's just say uh, the average price of, the ho of a house on this um, uh, street is $250,000. So some people are like, wow, that's expensive. Well, no, only one house is kind of really messing up the average here, right? Uh, most of these homes are much cheaper, okay? So this is why you have to be very careful with measures in statistics, and you wanna have multiple different ways of measuring something, and the median is uh, uh, one of the, you know, one of the best ways. The average is important as well, but you gotta understand the median. So we're gonna get into it right now. Okay, so a little lesson here, because I did emphasize is this is a very, very important practical mathematics. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a clue here, okay? The median, what word does that sound like, okay? Well, if you said middle, let's see, this is like the middle, maybe a middle number. Well, if you're thinking middle, then that's very good thinking, okay? So I'll get back to the median here in a second. But before we talk about the median, we wanna make sure we understand uh, the other words that are oftentimes confused with the median, okay? And this is the mean, median and mode okay now, of course we're talking about the median in this particular video but we need to make sure we understand what the mean and mode are so we don't confuse it with the median and that is a very common thing that people do all right so let's go ahead and get into this right now so here's our numbers we're actually going to quickly calculate the mean median node for our set of data here so a quick question for you what is the mean okay do you know what that is well, this is nothing more than the average, okay? The average. So uh, can you calculate the average of these numbers? Well, if you can, maybe uh, go ahead and do that real quick. Maybe put that answer into the comment section. But let's go ahead and take a look at how we calculate the average, which of course is the mean, okay? So when we're calculating the average of a set of data, okay? These can be test scores, could be home values. Now, of course, these are smaller numbers but this is what data is, okay, uh, D-A-T-A, -A, data. And by the matter of fact, uh, for those of you that might be interested, there is a um, really fast-growing uh, field, career field, called data science, okay? And, um, uh, of course, this is math-related, but it's all about statistical measures of what's going on, you know, with... Um, you know, like website performances and, you know, how well things sell online, how well, it's just a huge field. So if any of you are, you know, you know, like math, okay, and if you're looking for a great career field, this is taking off big time data science. Okay, so uh, how do we find the average? Well, it's very simple. All we need to do is find the sum total of the numbers and divide by how many numbers we have. We have one, two, three, four, five numbers. So all we gotta do is add these numbers up, two plus one plus three plus one plus six, that divided by five. This is gonna be the average, but the kind of uh, more technical name for it is the mean, okay? So remember, the mean is the average, and when we do this, we're going to get 13, all right? So all these numbers add up to 13, we divide it by five, that's gonna be 2.6, so that is what the mean is. Okay, so let's go down here and with our little data uh, right here, okay, we're measuring the uh, measures of central tendency. We now understand what the mean is. Okay, well, now we're gonna figure out what the median and mode are next. So let's go ahead and get uh, to it. All right, so before we do that though, I'm gonna just quickly ask you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, this really helps me. 
uh, really reach other people that are interested in math or need help in mathematics. Matter of fact, if you do this, I will look like this. And if you are going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification button. Uh, I do have currently on my channel uh, about 2,000 plus videos from basic math to advanced math. Uh, so from like, you know, you know, arithmetic all the way through calculus and everything in between. So I'm posting new material all the time. So if you're interested in any level of math, you know, please scour through my videos. I made them all for you. But thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. Now back to the little uh, explanation on the mean and median and mode. Okay, so as I indicated, uh, the median has something to do with the middle. Okay, so it's like, you know, this kind of sounds like middle, right? Median, middle. Well, you're thinking right. Okay, it is the middle number. But we can't determine the, what the middle number is until we take the numbers that we have and arrange them from lowest to highest. Okay, so we want to arrange them from lowest to highest, from left to right. So we're going to kind of rearrange these uh, so that they're in increasing order. So we got a one, so we'll write that there. We have another one, so we'll write that there. We have a two, so that comes next. Then we have a three, we'll put that there. Then we have a six, we'll put that there. Okay, so how many numbers do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. What is the middle number? Well, the middle number here is two, right? Because I have two numbers on the uh, right-hand side of two, and I have two numbers on the left-hand side of two. So the median is two, okay? Now this is really, really important because uh, let's kind of go back to our uh, concept of our um, home sales stuff, right? Let me just kind of go back over here. So let's uh, go back to our lovely homes, right? I'm going to do this real fast. Here is our homes, and this would be 900000 and this would be uh, 50000 let's say 60000 and uh, 50000 Well, let's just kind of rearrange this in order. Uh, 50, 60, another, let's say this was 70, okay? And I'm going to put in one other house right here. Let's call this 40,000. So 40, 50, 60, 70, and 900,000, okay? So what is the median? Well, these homes are from uh, ordered from uh, increasing value, right? So this is the cheapest. This is the most expensive. The middle home is 60,000, okay? So if I say the median uh, cost of a home on this street is 60,000, yeah, that's fairly representative of what's going on. Although we have this one uh, home that's 900,000, you know, if I uh, looked at the average, the average would be way more expensive, right? The average would be like, you know, whatever it is, might be 250 uh, plus. Uh, but the average sometimes, oftentimes, is, um, you know, deceptive, okay? This is why the mean or the average is really not used too much to describe statistical situations. doesn't mean that you don't want to have it because you do want to have it, uh, but it's, you know, the median is oftentimes, uh, you know, uh, generally more descriptive and more accurate in terms of what's going on. Okay, so that is what the median is, but we haven't yet answered the question. I'll get to that in just one second because there's a little bit of a twist here. But before we do that, let's just go back and take a look at the measures of central tendency, which are the mean, median, mode. So for all these numbers here, we figured out what the average is of the mean. It's 2.6. The median is 2. And now we're going to get to the mode. Sometimes a set of numbers will have a mode. Sometimes it will not. All the mode is is the number that shows up the most. Okay. So when you look at all these numbers, if there's a particular number that repeats or shows up more than the other numbers, the one that shows up the most, if there is such a number, is the mode. In this case, the mode is 1. All right, so these would be my measures of central tendency. So I could say, okay, well, here is the mean, here, uh, here's the median, here's the mode, and this would tell the story about this data set. And there's other things and statistics that you learn. You probably heard of uh, standard deviation, some other things like that. So this can continue to go on and on, but this is just basic statistical measures. And there's another one I'm kind of uh, skipping on right here. It's called the range. But if you understand these, uh, those are pretty good. And I bring up these three words because they all start with M and oftentimes they're confused, one, uh, people confuse one with the other, especially the mean and median. Okay, so finally we're going to answer the question. So what is the median of our uh, data, two, four, six, and eight? Well, it's going to be the middle number. We're gonna go ahead and arrange these numbers from lowest to highest, two, four, six, eight. Well, they're arranged correctly, 
but what is the middle number? Okay, well, if I split this in half, I got two numbers here and two numbers here. Hey, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, there is no middle number. So uh, maybe this set of data has no median. Well, that is actually not the case. So when there is no um, middle number, we're not when we are dealing with an even set of data, what we have to do is take the average, okay, or the mean of what's in the middle. So, you know, obviously the middle number is going to be right here. So we have to break the tie between four and six. And all we have to do is simply find the average uh, or the mean of those middle, num the numbers closest to the middle, which of course are four and six. So four plus six is 10. We have two numbers, 10 divided by two is five. And that is the median of this particular set of data. Okay, so hopefully I did a respectable job on explaining what the median is. And now when you, you know, uh, run into this word, you will, you know, hopefully remember my little explanation. Again, uh, most people, okay, not most people, a good, a good many people will um, confuse the median for the average, right? And if you're reading something that affects you, whether it affects you financially or, or just you want to understand uh, something, you know, a piece of information uh, that's important to you, you know, you need to understand these math concepts. Now, if you want to learn more about basic uh, basic statistics and, and the like, uh, check out my pre-algebra or my Algebra 1 course. Uh, you know, I teach, um, you know, statistics. It all depends on what level you're at, you're in. But you'll, uh, I start teaching that in my pre-algebra course. Uh, you can find uh, links to the, all these courses in the description. But uh, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.